Okay, we continue the MoGraph menu and reach to more instance. The more instance is actually a history for your animation in MoGraph or other job or other you know, object. It means it's record the history of animation and make a tail and the motion, interesting motion for our object. <clears throat> the first thing is, for example, we create a, a box here, and make it smaller. And from this box, we create a cloner. For example, instead of the grid, we make it a radial. And as we can see in the radial, <clears throat> we can animate the radius and the position of the cloner, okay? And if you change uh, animated, you can animate the cube. Uh, and then going to the transform, or you can holding shift to uh, bring them both uh, in a Y axis, animating in a Y axis. In here, we make it uh, K frame here, and also K frame the radius and the offset for rotation. And going to this frame and change the position of, of no, that's too high. <clears throat> that's okay. This is on this position for that. K-frame it. Then rotate a little bit. K-frame. Then change the radius. K-frame. And now we have this animation. Yeah. For faster, we can do this. And this is an animation. And this is actually, it's important here. We animate the cloner, not the object, okay? In this case, you can un uh, child it. Okay. Let's deselect that and make it here. And uh, let's go forward and uh, see what happened. If you bring the Mu instance here, as you can see, if you go to the Moon instance in the object, we have an object reference. It means we it needs a reference that has an animation. It's very important. And here can record its history. For example, from here to here, it's record the history and create object to the from first to the destination of that animation. Okay, let's test. Uh, in this case, we first click and drag the cloner there and play animation. And as you can see, something is a problem. It just <clears throat> created this um, tail in this position, but we are going up. It does not create that. Okay, what's the problem? Uh, it is, in this case, we want to trail individual uh, object and going up, not the cloner. It's just, it just uh, remember not transfer, just in an object. If you play it as you can see, it does not go up. Okay, in this case, if you unplug the uh, un unchild the cloner, as you can see, we can. This is an our uh, this is an our cloner. And it's, it's, it's animated. And you can assign any object to that. So it means we create an animation for our cloner. That's it. This is animation for our cloner. And our reference object is this cube that are going to cloner. So we mm, introduce this MoGraph, this cube. It means, okay, the cube. It did not happen because uh, this cube does not have. This is our reference, this cube that has no animation, nothing. It, it's still in its position. Okay. And. Uh, okay. And we uh, give this cube under this cloner. Okay. As you can see, we give that cube under that cloner. Okay. So we want that. But in this case, we unplug that. Uh, as you can see, we give the cloner, 
this moonstance cube. It means instead of animating or cloning that cube, please uh, animate that mu instance of that cube. This is an this object is instant of that cube that can record its history. So we change this cube to the mu instance of that. But the reference is cube. And now we click and drag that mu instance under the cloner. We clone this mu instance. That is the instance of this cube. And after that, if you play it, as you can see, we have our trail. That's it. So well, I hope you understand it. It's very easy. I give you another example that has a tricky things. For example, um, well, okay, we have a cube here, and as you can see, we're going there and make a simple <coughs> animation of that. From this position, K frame it, begin from this position and K frame it. Or you can bring it there and make it up a little bit. And this is our simple position. You can uh, bring it here and a little change in, in, in its rotation. K-frame it. And as you can see, we have a little rotation there and a little rotation here, for example, and K-frame it. As you can see, we have a simple rotation and uh, we want to make a um, tracer like uh, and record its history to that okay so you do need uh, you don't need to clone or make a clone uh, bring more instance and what happen if we directly introduce this cube as more instance and just create an instance in the center as you can see it's here so anything happen in this case that you want to directly go to the object you have to uh, you have to uh, as you can see if you click these objects it's uh, center is here we need its centers like this so we can <coughs> clear that and uh, uh, as you can see create a null as you can see a null goes exactly in the center of the software and we give the cube that null and now if you click it as you can see the center of that object is here and now instead of the cube we reference that null and as you can see we can trail or make a tracer object here and you can increase or decrease the number of the history of depths and as you can see you can do like this interest another important thing about the this moon instance effect with the uh, history depths is rendering if you click here you can simply render but if you go to the final render as you can see it does not appear in a final render and this is our problem so how we can fix that issue with render it's very important okay just a little play <clears throat> so uh, for this we need to uh, store all of this information in a cache I will explain more all the tags but from here you select your more instance the MuGraph tag, we need a MuGraph cache. It's very simple. It's cached uh, all the um, process and data here. It's very simple. Just bake it and done. And as you can see, it's cache. It's not, uh, and you can um, make back and forth and create that. Okay. It's a cache. And as you can see, it's a green. It means it's baked. You can clear cache or I think we can, as you can see, it's red. It means it, any cache in there, big frames. Nice. Yeah, I think we have to bake the frames or the bake whole object. That's it. 
And as you can see, if you go to render to picture viewer, I think something is wrong. Okay, let's try with the previous uh, scene. And as you can see, we have it. If you go to the render, we can render it. And of course, we need to cache it. Go to the cloner, right click, and you can create a mover of tag cache. And in here, you can click and bake it. And done. And now play it. And if you render in picture viewer, yeah, we have, we can render this. And I think, yeah, you cannot, you can turn the moon stance. Okay. So this is a trick that you can render. It's an important, uh, render your, uh, Mograph object in a picture viewer is very important. Don't forget to cache it. Okay, this is my instance. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.